let's say we have a situation where we deposit $40,000 at 8% for 124 days. When we're talking about days, federal banks and the federal government use exact interest, meaning 365 days in a year. So if the problem says exact interest or federal bank or federal government, that means use 365, all right? And we determine that if we multiply this out, we get $1,087.12. That would be the interest. Now, maturity value is another term that we want to make sure we understand. When a plant gets, when a plant grows, what does it do? When it matures, it gets smaller, bigger. It gets bigger, doesn't it? So if money matures, it gets bigger. So here's what the bank is thinking. When we plant a seed, we think that plant is going to get bigger as it matures. The bank says, I'm going to plant $40,000 in this borrower, and as time goes by, that 40000 is going to grow for me, because when they pay me back, they're going to pay me back more than $40,000. they are going to pay me back the 40000 they borrowed, the principal, plus the interest. So maturity value is equal to the principal plus the interest. In other words, if they ask for the maturity value, they're saying, how much does Peg have to pay back at the end of the time? on the 124th day of the loan. She has to pay back the principal plus the interest and that is equal to the maturity value that the bank expects her to pay back when the loan is due. How does that feel? Now, let's remember that interest amount. That interest amount was 1087.12 on a 365-day basis. Now, that's not the way everybody does it, though. Almost everybody does it with what's called ordinary interest. Almost any time you borrow money, a bank, a credit card, whatever, you are going to be paying ordinary interest, which means 360 days in a year. That's ordinary interest. Now, why would this be done instead of 365? Well, it originated before there were calculators and computers, because banking's been around for a long time. If you had to divide 124 long division by 365 or by 360, which would you rather do? We'd rather do this one that's got a zero on the end. It'd be easier to divide. So, what banks said before there were computers and calculators, they said, let's just assume every month has 30 days, roughly, for an average. There's 12 months in a year, so there's 360 days in a year. And that's how ordinary interest came about. Now, with computers and calculators, obviously nobody divides by longhand anymore, so it doesn't really matter, but it really does matter, doesn't it? When you divide a number, by something smaller, you're going to get a bigger answer, aren't you? So, we're going to pay more interest if it's a 360-day year than we are if it's a 365-day year. Let's see how much more. Let's punch in 40,000 times 8 percent times 124 divided by 360, and that will tell us how much interest is going to be owed ordinary interest. It should be more than this 1087.12 figure. 11.02.22. 11.02.22. Does that sound right to everybody? All right. 11.02.22. Now let's see how much difference that is. Subtract 1087.12 from that. Fifteen ten. All right, so it's a difference of $15.10. And we say, well, that's not that big a deal if you're talking about four months and you're borrowing $40,000. What's four more dollars a month? Well, it's four more dollars a month. And it is proportional. In other words, that's a certain percentage of that principal amount. So if we were borrowing $40 million, a thousand times that much, we'd be paying $15,000 extra. 
thousand times more interest. All right. So this definitely works to the lender's advantage. And there are some states, as the textbook says, that have mandated that uh, lending institutions in their state have to use exact interest with 365 in order to benefit the consumer. All right. But everybody does it this way. So it's not like somebody's trying to rip you off. It's just that's the way it's always been done and nobody bothered to change it when calculators and computers came into being. So always assume, here's the rule of thumb, always assume ordinary interest. Always assume 360 days in a year. The only time we ever use 365 is if it specifically says exact interest or federal bank. Okay? It's the only time we ever use 365. So just always assume 360 and you'll be in good shape. 